everybody and welcome back to another video today we're hopping into the finale of obi-wan yes this is the sixth episode of the first season of obi-wan titled part six and if you guys saw my post um i had a little accident and i actually broke my foot um so i've been in the hospital went to the hospital yesterday um i'm fine um, it just, it's a small fracture in, uh, in my foot. And so I just have to like not walk on it for three weeks. And then I have to wear like a walking boot for another three weeks and it should be healed after that. So it's all good. So because of that, um, I'm on painkillers right now. So this is going to be one of two things. It's either going to be the best Reaction ever are the absolute worst thing I'm putting out here. So we're going to see what happens because I honestly don't know which one it's going to be. Um, but I wanted to get on here because I wanted to see the finale so bad. I'm so ready for this and I'm ready to watch it along with you guys. So um, I hope you guys are excited about this as I am. If uh, you want to see my full reaction, you can head on over to my Patreon page. I'm going to have the link uh, in the description below. All right, you know, as always, if you hang out right here on YouTube, that's fine. That's fine. You know, just be sure that you like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss uh, a video that I post. And also, that will help with the algorithm and all of that jazz. So... Um, let's just get into it. Like I said, this is going to be either the worst thing out there or the best thing out there. Um, I feel like there's going to be no in between. <laughs> so I'm ready to get into it. We got little baby Grogu's ready to get into it. And we got big Grogu behind me as well. So we're ready to get into this. I am so excited. Uh, so I just want to get into it. This is the sixth episode of the first season of Obi-Wan entitled Part Six. Let's go. Wait your turn. You have what's left when I'm done. Yeah, she don't mess around. Uh oh. Move all power to the rear ship. We'll head for testing. This is not look good. He's gonna sacrifice, he's gonna board it to save everybody. We need a new belt for this theater. Hi Luke. Owen, there's something you need to know. Yeah, there's a, a certain you know killer after you. Damn, he's going to kamikaze mission. So what do you want to do? You and me. I feel like we need more than that. Rue, what are you doing? We both need to stay my cover. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right. I think you better do as she says. Would you would have wanted you to have me. I tend to. Well, I wasn't going to give you a blaster, Leia. <laughs> You're 10 years old. <laughs> but you won't always be. Aww. I have to face him, Master. <gasps> please tell me we get Qui-Gon. Please, 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 please. Oh, no. It's about you and him. Mm -hmm. People follow you. Don't stop. Just get started. <laughs> we cannot prioritize one lone Jedi. He is not just any Jedi. It's like, watch me. Prepare my ship. I will face him alone. Mano e mano. I'm curious how they're both gonna get out of this alive, though. Ooh. That is such a cool shot. Have you come to destroy me, Obi Wan? I will do what I must. Oh, oh. Then you will die. Whoa. Much better now. Tapping into the Force. So cool. Oh, oh, oh. They're doing a decent job. Oh. 
Fuck yeah, it is. So good. Oh my god. This is so good. This fight is phenomenal. Oh my god. <gasps> Yo! Look at this motherfucker! <gasps> oh, 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 oh! Look at you, Obi-Wan! You're the OG! That was a cool shot. Oh my god, you can just see the pain on his face! I'm getting emotional now! Like, I'm actually getting like really emotional right now. <laughs> Dude, this is like 100% like peak Star Wars right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Well, obviously she didn't do it. She just knocked out. So what you're feeling right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's up to you. Yes! I mean, that wasn't a crazy thing to be said at this point. We will destroy everything in our path until he is bound. You seem agitated. Oh! He will not be again. Got a new helmet, apparently, though. That was mad quick. Yeah, Anakin's officially dead. Look at the music! Oh, but she still has the gloves. I love that. Oh, and the. Oh, yes. Yes! She's a little princess warrior! I fear for her future. She'll be alright. The Empire grows stronger. Well, if you ever need my help again, you know where to find me. Yeah, we do. Look after your brother. I don't know. You think we should stop? <laughs> you are wise, discerning, kind heart. These are qualities that came from your mother. But you're also passionate and fearless, forthright. And these are gifts from your father to you. Both were exceptional people who bore an exceptional daughter. Goodbye. Go on. 
may the force be with you. <laughs> Take good care of him. Come on. You want to meet him? Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Oh my god. Hello there. Ah! I wanted more! Man, I wanted to see their interaction! Yes! Oh my god. <laughs> you mean to think you'd never come? Me too! Who's here? It's just... We're not ready to see you. Come on. We've got a ways to go. Oh my god! I'm so happy right now. That's an awesome shot. It's gonna be the end, right? That one makes sense. Yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and talk about it. Well, that was the season one finale of Obi-Wan. It was part six and oh my god this was peak star wars 10 out of 10 everything i've ever wanted and literally right now the only thing i want to do is now jump into episode four and i am not kidding i feel like it's now a requirement that you watch after episode three you have to watch this in order to get to episode four if like that's the order you want to watch these in seriously it is so good and this whole series, I have been blown away, and this episode did not disappoint. It delivered on every level. This is peak Star Wars. You had, I never thought I would see an Obi-Wan versus Vader fight again. I did not think I'd ever see it again after episode four. Like, and you got to see kind of two old men kind of going at it. This was great. It was kind of and I like the speed they were doing it because it wasn't like episode three where this fight was epic and they were bouncing all around and they were at the, their peak young form. They're now a little bit older. You know, it's 10 years later. They're older. You know, um, Anakin is hurt and Obi-Wan is 10 years older and he didn't use the force for a long time. So you, it makes sense to where they would still be good, but not as good as before. And that was great. They like the whole fight was awesome it was epic we got to see just obi-wan use the force as like the best he could in full force it was like oh my god it was i cannot gush at how excited and how good that whole thing was um the, like that like i i know i guess but it delivered on every level it really did and i know i'm not like a die hard Star Wars fan. I haven't seen Clone Wars. I don't know comics, things like that. I love the movies and I've watched Mandalorian. I really like that for, you know, obviously. Um, but like, I don't know the ins and outs of it, but I, I thoroughly enjoyed everything about it. It was so, so, so good. Oh my God. I cannot stop gushing. Like that was everything I wanted. Everything I think I wanted in this finale we got another fight um and he got to see and obi-wan got to see that anakin is truly gone and him saying at the end that you can see like Ian mcgregor did a phenomenal job playing and playing obi-wan this whole time but you got to see at the end his emotion and his pain and heartache when he saw that anakin his friend his protege, his best friend, whom he loves, is gone. He's just gone. And Darth Vader took over. And, like, he even said, like, I, you didn't kill Anakin. I killed Anakin. And him saying goodbye and saying goodbye, Darth, I'm like, oh, oh, my God. You just stab me in the heart and twist it. Like, oh, my God. You got to truly see that. His friend is truly gone. And so in episode four, when he says that Vader killed killed his father, yeah, it makes sense. Like, it all comes together. Um, so I loved all that. I love that Leia got to be home and she got to be a little badass she is. And, like, she had the holster Oh my god, I love the holster. She gotta keep the holster from Tala. Like, aww. And then, um, 
you know, she, she was like, there needs to be some changes around here. <laughs> like, that's, that's so Leia, and I love it. She's become a little badass. It's great. I love the goodbye between Anakin, Anakin, wow, between Obi-Wan and Leia and, like, him telling her, you know, the different traits that she got from both her parents, which was so sweet and amazing and... Um, so, again, this is, might be the painkillers talking, but, like, I'm trying to figure out Reva, like, her strategy. Like, I'm thinking she wanted to hurt Vader by killing the kid. Is that what was going on? I don't know. Tell me in the comments, please, because I'm confused. Like, what was her plan? To kill Luke just to get back at Vader for trying to kill her? Like... All right, I didn't know if she was trying, like, I guess she wanted revenge. I guess that's what she wanted. Um, justice, revenge, killing his kid for killing all the younglings, I'm guessing. So, um, But, of course, she couldn't do it because she is not Vader. She is her own self, and she showed restraint and um, didn't kill him, obviously. Obviously, she wasn't going to kill him. Um, I honestly, I would have, I, I'm torn because I would have loved to have seen an interaction between Obi-Wan and Luke. That would have been awesome. Um, I would love to see their interaction and conversation, but I kind of think it's also kind of perfect in a way where all he says is hello there. Like it's iconic line from, from the fourth, um, movie or episode four, the first movie. Um, it was because like, who would have thought when they created that? that the hello there would have been such an iconic line. Like, it became such a big line, and it's just, hello there. Like, what? But I, like, I'm debating in my head. You know, I kind of like it, though. I kind of wish I would have seen it, but I do kind of like that you just said hello there. Um. So, yeah, we have that, and Owen and, and uh, Baru... They were awesome and badass and did what they needed to do. So now uh, Obi Wan knows that they can look after him and they can take over and look and like they can do what needs to be done. And so I'm guessing he's gonna go off and help the other Jedi escape the Empire. Is kind of what I'm guessing. Is he's gonna go and, and help them? That's kind of what I think they're hinting at for maybe a season two. Right? Are we going to get a season two? I hope so, because all of the accolades about this, I, I'm thinking that Disney's thinking, you need the money. Um, yeah, and of course, the ending, we got Qui-Gon, finally! Yay! I am so excited. We finally got him. It was only for a short scene. I don't care. I loved it. My inner geek, my inner Star Wars fan is on Cloud9. Um... And honestly, all I really want to do right now is go watch episode four, which I probably will do uh, because I basically can't be off my foot. I can't be, I have to be off my foot for like three weeks. So if I'm not working, I'm literally just like recording, editing and like watching TV. So probably I will be going through the series again on my own. Um, but this has been fun, guys. It's been an amazing series. This was a 10 out of 10. 15 out of 10 in terms of finales. Absolutely loved it. Got everything I think I could ever want in Star Wars. This is peak Star Wars, and I am all for it. Oh, my God. And I am, like, if there's going to be a season two, I am so excited if, the, if they are going to. And by the response that has been given to the series, I have a feeling it's going to be. So, yeah, that is Kenobi. I can't believe it's already over. Like, I'm so sad that, that you know, we're, we're done. Um, but it's been a great series. It's been a great ride. Thank you so much for coming along on this journey with me as we go through this show. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this series really as much as I have. I've been blown away, and I'm so happy with what they gave us, and I hope you guys are too. So, if you want to see my full reaction to the entirety of this series or any of my other shows, you can head on over to my Patreon page. The link is in the description below. Or, you know, as always, you can hang out right here on YouTube. Just be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. 
And um, I will see you for, I guess, other series, I guess.